One of the greatest teachings there is that's relevant today is um, from the 1600s, there was an English physician, Thomas Sidingham. He was known as the English Hippocrates. He was so famous. He had a textbook that was used for 200 years throughout England to teach medicine. And he has a quote that a man is as old as his arteries. And we'd have to change that nowadays to a person is as old as their arteries. But I like to make it positive. You are also as young as your arteries. What does that all mean? We have the technology nowadays to know if you're 40 years old, are your arteries structure and function like a 40 year old, a 30 year old, or a 60 year old? And if your arteries are aged because of lifestyle or genetics, smoking, dietary choices, sedentary lifestyle, if you're 40 years old, but we measure using various technologies that your arteries are 60 years old, it's not only increases your risk of heart attack, need for bypass and stents. It's a body-wide aging. That's what's really been some uh, new research, that if your arteries are aging, you're at greater risk of kidney problems, dementia, premature death. It goes throughout the entire body, even lung disease. So how can you know the age of your arteries? One is a CAT scan of the heart called a coronary artery calcium scan. Calcified arteries are old arteries. You shouldn't have calcium in your arteries maybe by the time you get 80 or 90 plus, but you still shouldn't have it, it just develops more readily. Um, there are ways to put little devices on your finger, it's called pulse wave analysis, I do it routinely in my clinic, that can tell me if a 45 year old has the arteries that are functioning like a 65 year old or a 35 year old. And there's an ultrasound of your carotids, same thing. My patients um, are more motivated to change than almost anything I've seen when I show them a report that says that their 50-year-old carotid arteries are more akin to a 70-year-old and they look at it aghast, and they are aging. Uh, it's accurate numbers, but it is a platform to develop a program and reverse it and improve it. One of the greatest fears, probably a fear greater if you were to ask the public than dying of heart disease, having a heart attack. That's like a badge of honor. I have five stents and I'm doing fine at my McDonald's family reunion. Um, but losing your memory, lose, forgetting where your car was, losing your keys, forgetting phone numbers, and then more progressive problems with memory, some of which is what's called Alzheimer's dementia, some of which are little strokes, vascular dementia. But some of it is um, nutritional, B12 deficiency would be one, and some of it is drug related. Whenever I see a patient that is uh, describing or families describing the beginnings of memory loss, you got to look at the list of prescription medicines. You should look at the list of supplements too. They may be on too many supplements. It may not be enough. They may be deficient in B12, omega-3, vitamin D, and you need to add supplements to replace that. But the prescription drugs are really important. Um, thyroid function, is it adequate and is it supplemented excessively or uh, not enough? Um, beta blockers, this form of drug used for blood pressure and cholesterol. Cholesterol lowering statin drugs, Zocor, Lipitor, uh, in my practice have a limited role. They have a role. A uh, giant review that just came out recently in Lancet strongly makes a case that um, many, many lives are saved by statins. Now, if we lived a healthy lifestyle, we wouldn't need a fraction of them but they are a crutch because people aren't adopting a healthy lifestyle. But nonetheless, there clearly are people that their mental clarity improves when you give them a six to eight week vacation from a statin. And then you just have to look for another way to manage their lipid disorder, their cholesterol disorder, hopefully by lifestyle, by changing their diet, lowering their saturated fat intake, uh, going towards a vegan, all plant-based diet, but possibly other approaches, niacin, Berberine, there's a number of supplements that lower cholesterol, turmeric. A common class of prescription drugs for heart disease are called beta blockers, B-E-T-A. Been used for 40 plus years. Uh, they can be used for chest pain called angina. They can be used for skip beats called palpitations. They can be used for blood pressure problems. Um, there are side effects. People feel tired. People with asthma may have worsening asthma may slightly raise cholesterol and blood sugar, may cause some sexual impairment, uh, erectile dysfunction, not a fun thing. Um, and again, the whole goal of lifestyle medicine is to try and manage uh, life without disease, or if disease is present, try and reverse it. So in my experience, on a whole food, plant-based, vegan diet, um, blood pressure can come down dramatically. 
Um, we've seen that over and over. Um, Dr. Joel Furman just published some data that blood pressure may drop by 25 for systolic and 15 for diastolic on average and sustained by getting off of processed foods and getting on to a whole food, plant-based, nuts and seeds kind of diet, then you may not need your beta blocker. Um, similarly, when you're eating lots of fruits and veggies, nuts, seeds, whole grains, you're getting a lot of magnesium and potassium. So often the palpitations will go away. And then you don't need beta blockers for the palpitations in some cases. Um, if you've had a heart attack, there is some data that for the first few months after a heart attack, being on a beta blocker is good, but people end up on them for 30 years and questioning, do I really need this? Is there data that I need this? And the data's come out now that after that first year after a heart attack, beta blockers don't really add anything. So always good to look at the medicine list and ask your doctor, ask yourself, do I really need this for the rest of my life? Don't stop medicine without discussing it with your healthcare provider, but challenge and question if you need a acid-blocking medicine for the rest of your life. It never was designed to be used for your whole life.